If you can get your hands on one, at-home rapid tests have become the important tool in determining if you have COVID. But next question, can you trust the results all the time? CBS 11's Brooke Rogers with the best ideas to consider to make sure that the result you receive is as accurate as it can be. This is the general box that the COVID test comes in. There are multiple brands sold in multiple places. You can buy them at Walmart. You can buy them on Amazon. Um, they're pretty easy to use. We're gonna and Dr. Donna Casey says these tests are generally pretty accurate, as long as you follow a few simple tips. First, read the directions. I think some of the biggest mistakes that people make are uh, not putting the, the swab into their nose far enough or not putting it in for long enough. The swab needs to go around three quarters of an inch inside each nostril for 15 seconds, spinning it five times. Now these swabs, they don't have to go all the way up to your brain to be accurate. Then you place the swab in a dropper, put several drops of the solution onto a test card and wait. Another mistake? Not waiting long enough to, reading, to read the results of the sample and also waiting too long. But Dr. Casey says the top factor in false results is testing too soon. She says not to test until three days after exposure, unless you have symptoms. So is one of the biggest misconceptions that people are testing the minute they find out that they have been exposed? Yes, so what we're actually doing is wasting tests because you're, you're not gonna test positive for two to three days. She suggests testing on days three and four. If they're still negative and you have no symptoms, she says you should still mask, especially around those who are vulnerable. Dr. Casey says we will likely be relying on these tests for at least a few more weeks. According to projections by UT Southwestern, cases aren't expected to peak until the end of January. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.